we're continuing from where we left off. We just invaded France from, by air, and now we're going to invade a little further into France. But first, let's read this. Nobody... D-Day. 20, 20 hours. That's not right. D-Day. 0020. D-Day. No one seems to have dropped where they were supposed to. I haven't seen anyone from my unit yet, but luckily... Well, what about Kevin Foley? We saw, I've hooked up with someone, the guys from Baker Company. We also have some men from Able, Dog, and Fox Companies with us. What a mess. We're getting ready to capture the village of Stamir Eglis. I know, I'm butchering that. Stamir Eglis. The, I, the way to speak French properly is to just make every letter, every like hard syllable just trail off. That's what I have understood. It's completely wrong, but I'm just going to keep doing it. Stay Mary Gleese, about five miles from Utah Beach. We're approaching through a narrow field with minefields on each side. Captain Foley says there's two platoons of German paratroopers in that village. I say we've got a serious fight ahead of us. The road of Stay Mary Gleese connects Utah Beach to the main highway of the peninsula, which should be right in the path of the most likely German counterattack. Man, the sentence is just run on. Get set to move on my command. Man, Dawnville. No, wait, this is Burnville. Dawnville's neck tomorrow. Yeah, all the missions have these neat little nicknames. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Play this this was the demo, I played this so many times. Just ignore that. Crawl. Oh no! There goes my health! I deliver. I got enough bullets that I can do this all day, Nazi scum. No, I'll save you. Well, hey! Wait a minute, you're dead! What is. That's not supposed. That doesn't make sense! How are you here? You were dead, I saw you! That doesn't help anything, you're just squiggling around? Oh, man. I'm down! Well, not in that way, but I'm, I'm kind of. Are you alive? You're dead? Man, it's a good thing I'm great at everything. Oh, these guys are not doing well. You, zombie man, you, I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't understand. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's like he's like a brother. Instead of saving Private Ryan, it's uh, saving Private Heath and his friends and family. Safe. Let's see what's upstairs. Oh, I saw you, buddy. I got your number. And your number is number zero. Because you suck. That guy's not great either, to tell you the truth. Uh, but let's. Uh, oh, man. I'm getting messages. I don't want to hear from you people. Oh! Did that not? Yeah, that was that was a good job. This this guy. Are you sure that maybe you you are not trying to help? This man is colluding with me. I'm not mad about it. I'm just confused. He just blew himself up. See, I said grenades were dangerous. I didn't like. They're pretty dangerous to everyone, apparently. How are you doing down there, Heath? Let me get a good look at you. Revolution, you're... Looks like you're doing fine. I see some squiggling, some squiggly wiggling still. You look good. What is going on? You, sir, you are going on my list of top five worst Nazis that have ever lived. This is going to make a great thumbnail. I'm going to put a big red circle on it and like an arrow pointing at your dumb face. 
This game's great. Yep. Just how I remember it. It's really great. Base of fire. This is you can just play this game. If you just act like everything's really dramatic, just everything is. Oh, I'm dead. It was bound to happen someday. Oh, back at this point. Glad to see this. You know what? Souvenirs. Gotta take the ger the Nazi pistol. That sucks. Check this out. Yeah, I know you, everybody loves iron sights that jump up when you fire. That's for precision aiming. Hey you. Hey you. Yeah, enemies go prone. In this. They're they're capable. Yeah, enemies are dangerous in this game. Ooh. Going in. Ooh, man, lights out. Man, if only there was like a sweet sound to accompany it, like ringing the dinner bell. I'll knock it off your forehead. Now I'm dead. You know, I'm starting to think that I'm a one-man army here. I'm starting to think that uh, maybe I'm uh, the only one uh, not doing that. Gotta, here's what I gotta do. I gotta stop. I gotta get in the zone. I gotta stop showing off and just kill the Nazis. See, that guy's dead. His friend ain't doing so good either. Oh, all right. I'll set to go in the casket. Look at that pose. Ooh. I'd like to say that was reaction, but really I just flipped out. Like the the crosshairs were dead on him, and then I flipped out and then had to like swing him back around back onto him. You know, I don't remember this game being so, uh, dumb. I feel that, uh, maybe what I did to this to get to work may be to blame. Now here's a good old-fashioned shootout. Just, there's some guys over there. Tell them. We got machine guns? We got machine guns. Nothing to it. Nothing but not net. Nothing but Nazi net. It's just, it's really like meditative. It's relaxing. It's like Tetris. You just, you see something bad, you shoot it. You know, I might as well make use of these grenades. I got plenty. There goes half my health. Don't know where that grenade went. Hope it was a good place. Oh, it was a good place. At least enemies are smart enough to run away from grenades in this game. They aren't the smartest bunch, but they're... Uh, it, it's tolerable. They know how to hide behind things, at least. So yeah, half health gone? I'm gonna have to play the entire rest of this level like that. take that with me. Nope, still not taking the dumb pistol. And now let's play a game of... Oh no. We'll have to play a game later. For now we gotta shoot things. Yep. If only these Nazis could figure out how, just how to, you know, hide behind things. They know how to hide behind things, at least. I always hate when games, they try, they make the animation so nice, it's like, this is exactly what a person looks like when they're crouching. And I'm like, oh, that's fine and good, but you know, a real person would actually try to hide behind that tiny fence instead of, you know, doing a pretty good crouch. Now let's play a game of... Oh, no evolution here, it was just that one fence. Yeah, I've been putting off this game for too long. Oh, you guys want me to go first? Lieutenant Post, Glenn, Mills, and... What are you guys doing? Playing a game, hardcore game of peekaboo right here? It's all good! This room's locked down! Yeah, but you guys want me to go first? Let's find where... 
thing is, let's cross that invisible barrier and spawn all the enemies. There it is! Alright, it's right there! Mark it on your map! Good thing this gun's great. Ooh, that looks bad. I couldn't spawn from Null. Here they come! And let's see. Now that's the funny thing about what they did with machine gunners in this game. They, they wanted to make them like difficult. So you had to like, you know, work your way up to them and toss grenades and stuff like that. You can just shoot them like any other enemy. So you see what they do is, well, first of all, they do that. They have people come back and Ah, take up positions over and over again, but also, you have to shoot him twice, every single time. Every machine gun requires two shots. You hit him once, he's like, oh, what was it? Well, I already hit him, so that, I hit him twice. He's like, oh, what? Hmm. Come join me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing off, not getting the kills, still at half health. See, look, here's what I'm talking about. See that guy? That's what a person looks like when they're crouching. But that's also... But that's not what a smart person looks like when they're crouching. Oh. You know, I gotta stop trusting you guys. I think everything's all good. But then you just... You're like... Done. Right? Exactly... Right there? I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, those guys spawned in. So I gotta get to my uh, magical special fence place. And get ready for this guy. And one, two. Yeah, every single time. Guys get on the machine gun. And you shoot them once. And then you shoot them again. And they're dead. Not very complex. Oh. But every time, I love the animation. It's the same. Every time. You shoot a guy in the machine gun, it's like he's swatting a fly. He's like, oh, what was that? It was like a mosquito or something. Something bit me. And then they're dead. But the thing about these is they don't spawn in enemies unlimited like they do in later Call of Duty games. There is a limited number of enemies on certain levels, like this one. Most of them. And all you have to do is clear them out. They move around and they take up positions and machine gun nests and stuff like that. But there's always the same number of enemies. Oh. A oh, phone call. I wonder who it could be. Give me a second. Great, thanks. We appreciate your business. 